everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if it is your first time here welcome to my channel i'm so happy to have you i am kind of whispering kind of talking a little bit quiet because it is almost midnight well it's like 11 20. i just felt like i wanted to film a quick reaction video basically i heard in my head to look up a curse removing spell so i found this one it's only like three and a half minutes long, so it should be sort the short and sweet. Basically, if you're new to my channel, what I do is I go in and I read the energy of these videos using my intuition, and I tell you guys what I see. This video is called Black Magic Curse Removal, How to Remove a Curse. Hey, it's Susan Edwards at the Bob Shop at 311 Broadway in historic downtown Paducah, and we had a great question from a customer today about so the first thing that i heard see it's like i never want to like offend anyone with what i say but i literally just hear certain things and i heard that she is possessed so a, a curse or a hex and i'm going to turn this over to jonathan and he's going to tell us a little bit more about this she has a snake wrapped around her. Okay, hey guys. So, I had a uh, customer come in asking about hexes or curses. She feels like there's been a, a curse put on her. She's under assault from someone else. Okay, so let's talk curses for a second. They do exist. They so, he has. We're just gonna go right into it. Um, he has, I'm seeing like a woman in his field and it's someone that like hasn't crossed over as in like they passed away, but they're like still like not in the good place, whatever you wanna call it. There's like a woman spirit like that hasn't really realized um, or like she realizes that she's dead, but she hasn't like, you know, gone through the process to like move on from Earth. And she is standing in his field, blocking him from his soul's mission. They are very powerful. Um, with that being said, very rare. It's very rare that someone uh, has enough focus and energy built up to send out a curse or a hex. Uh, so a lot of times whenever so it's actually not rare it happens all the time you just thinking negative thoughts about someone um which a lot of people do like i in the past if i'm being honest have thought about certain things like a lot and when you think about something a lot like let's say you really want to be in a relationship with bob um so you keep thinking and hoping and praying and imagining that you're with Bob. Or maybe you want this specific job. So you keep visualizing and hoping and praying like, I need this specific job. If you're doing it um, from like an emotional place, if you're not grounded while you're doing that, um, you are in essence not necessarily cursing someone, but you very easily could do it that way. But you're like kind of taking... A piece of you and putting it in that person's path and maybe it's not for the highest and best good of you and everyone involved so you're kind of like messing up their path by doing that if a person feels like they're cursed or hexed it's in their own head and uh there are little techniques you can use uh to uh to get rid of the curse uh that you're kind of doing to yourself uh so i see that there is like a black blob behind him but it looks like the grim reaper like if the grim reaper were a blob that's what's behind him uh, but every once in a while you'll come across somebody who does know what they're doing and they will put that evil eye on you uh it's the good news i just heard in my head that this guy um has an epic <laughs> i keep hearing epic he's like an epic soul mission and like purpose on this earth but it's been tainted um, by like witchcraft, black magic, hexes, and the underworld. Yes, that's uh, curses and hexes 
are base magic, uh, meaning it's, you know, very simple to break. Uh, and because it is base magic, anybody can kind of pull it off uh, sending a crown. Uh, so what's one thing that you... I like, I've never heard of base magic. I just asked like in my head what it was and I heard it's the first density layer. I don't exactly know what that means, but I know second density is usually emotions according to my meditation teacher. So if there's something worse than like human emotions, that's probably not good. You can do yourself if you think you have been cursed. Okay, the first thing that I always do whenever I I don't want to say I feel like I've been cursed, but uh, whenever I get that feeling like I'm under a psychic attack, uh, psychic. I just heard in my head he has at least 4,000 curses on him. Attack, curse, whatever. The first thing that I always turn to is sage. Uh, sage everything. Sage your home, sage your kids, sage, your kids, sage everything. Uh, and then a lot of times I will turn to ritual, uh, bats with, you know. So, sage is great is what I'm hearing as long as you have a very, 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 very clear intention and as long as you are already grounded when you're saging. Because if you're not grounded, if you like, let's say hypothetically, like you just had like an emotional breakdown or you just had like a horrible day and you're crying and then you like start saging while you're emotional, like, you're not going to clear anything. So if you are going to sage, you have to be like super grounded in your body, like above all the emotional stuff. You know, or cleansing salts and stuff like that, uh, essential oils, herbs, uh, a lot of natural things that you can do uh, to kind of get the affliction off of your So ritual baths are okay. Um, what I'm hearing though is what is like, a couple steps beyond that like what would work even more um is like literal like whatever molecules or whatever like frequency or like whatever the ocean water is made of like if you put your feet in that that will clear you of so many like emotions thoughts like alternate realities is what i just heard like curses whatever like the ocean like the minerals of the ocean are like a hot spring or something like that like that would work not necessarily a lake. I don't know why. Self and off of your, your aura and, and cleanse your energies. Uh, because anytime someone curses someone, they, they're attaching themselves to their energies. Uh, so you gotta, you gotta whisk that clean. True. Um, yeah, cutting the cords would be a great way, uh, a great start. And I think if it's an actual, legit curse, it's gonna take a little more than cutting your cords. Uh, so would your advice be, think you're under attack or have a curse or a hex first thing is just to relax breathe it's gonna be okay and don't give that power to somebody. yeah 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 because the first thing you do especially if uh, the person who sends it doesn't know what they're doing and didn't actually send it uh all you're doing your own energy is it's a, like a self-fulfilling kind of thing uh you're doing the work for them so don't do that breathe relax ground yourself uh come into the rock shop for a tune up and uh you know come talk to me and we'll we'll get it all settled out never heard of this guy i don't exactly know what he does but i feel like he has a very special mission is what i keep hearing i keep hearing he's special and epic whatever like the way that he has been taught to do certain things is what i'm hearing there's like other forces that have come in and almost like tainted that um through like witchcraft, hexes, candle, magic, whatever, all that kind of stuff. I see like an orange blob behind him, but it's like a face. Um, and it's like, it almost looks like when you put your face like through a, a sheet almost, um, and you can like see your face through the sheet. It's kind of like spooky. I see that standing behind him and I hear it's his metal self um, that hasn't been alkalized. Disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist. I don't understand what alkaline is other than that I drink alkaline water because I like the way it tastes and it's supposed to be good for you. I keep hearing like heavy metal detox, heavy metal cleanse would help this dude out. So uh, guys, thank you so much. Bye guys.
just like for some reason like as the video ended like i see someone like clicking subscribe and like as they click subscribe i literally see like robot like they turn into a robot and i keep hearing that over and over again like robot 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 so i don't know why that is the case i think their entire channel as a whole for whatever reason if you were to subscribe to it it almost like either turns you into a robot or has like robot energy for some reason i kept hearing like ocean water like the minerals and like the salt of the earth like the ocean even like river water for some reason it's not lake but it's like river and ocean or like those like mineral hot springs or baths or something or like sulfur that like detoxes heavy metals out of you again this is just what i'm hearing i'm not a scientist i don't know what i'm just hearing is like the detoxing the heavy metals through like that kind of water just kind of like gets rid of the frequency of like a curse or a hex or that kind of thing and takes you into a space where like you can't be affected like if someone were thinking negatively about you your um vibration would be too high you would be in a space where like you couldn't feel that i hope that makes sense don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos and I will see you guys in my next video. I know I've been whispering. I hope you guys can hear me. Don't curse anyone. I mean, I'm not going to tell you guys what to do, but like it's probably better if you don't.